Previously on Survivor. The tribe swapped at the Survivor Summit, sending Darren and Jen to Pittman and Matt, Michelle, and Isaiah to Gibson with both idols. At a late night endurance challenge, Pittman held on longer, sending Gibson to Tribal. The next morning, the campers scrambled. Despite Isaiah's plan to put votes on Matt and then play the idol for him, the vote tied between Karen and Isaiah. When no one flipped, the campers went to rocks and Harris was sent home. 11 campers remain. Who will be voted out tonight? Nice. Give me a second. I got something that might, that might catch better. It's like matches. Yeah, matches. <laughs> <laughs> It feels amazing waking up this morning. We made a fire with Flint. It's like one of those sparklers. Ooh, oh, not on my finger. Wow. There you go, that's what I'm <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Amazing. I think winning that challenge last night, the best part about it wasn't necessarily that we won and had to avoid travel the next day. I think the best part about it was that we just got to get a full night of sleep. How'd you sleep? I was second freezing, so I went all the way and I was back. We got pretty decent sleep. We could see in the distance a fire from the other camp. They were definitely up all night. So it was really nice to wake up this morning. We made a fire. Now we're just eating breakfast and hanging out. Very relieved. <laughs> point of the going to rocks vote was to get the upper hand and we did not. I, Certainly yeah, not I, personal. I, I, no. <laughs> no. I mean we strongly like, considered voting for all three of you. Yeah. <laughs> as I'm Figured sure you considered yeah, voting for all three of yeah. us. Yeah. I believed Harris would go to rocks for me um, but I wasn't sure about Rachel. Yeah, I like, really didn't think I was going to make it through that. Yeah. yeah. Karen, Sorry Rachel I thought, you, I thought you were going to flip. <laughs> To not flip. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Oh, I know. I found some great allies in this game, which is something I really didn't expect. I thought everyone would be a little cutthroat, but I've actually found people who are very loyal and willing to put themselves on the line to help me out, which I very much appreciate. And it, you know, makes me have some feelings, like I get a little emotional about that. So that's really cool. Uh -huh. The folding chairs, and then there was the upturned table. Yeah. It was stuffed. That was certainly a tribal council. The plan was, I'm going to pretend to flip, see if I can direct where their votes are going to go, and then try to invalidate those votes. And it didn't work out, but I got, I feel like I got to demonstrate, you know, loyalty to my tribe. So this is the idol that I found on day one. It has a note with it that says that it's good through the final five. I had just told Matt and Isaiah, and Isaiah told the rest of the tribe. He told me immediately, I told them about your idol, and I said, are you serious? Why did you do that? And he said, and he later apologized and was like, I shouldn't have said, you know, passed that info along without your consent. So I appreciate the apology. I understand where I came from. I left the idol in camp. 
and for so I wasn't able to play it, which made for a very stressful tribal council. <laughs> and it flew away. <laughs> just hit you for no reason. <laughs> that was for tribal. So everyone here knows that I have this. What they don't know, but I just found this. says, congratulations, you have found a hidden immunity idol, blah, blah, blah. The last time this idol can be played is the final five. So I have two idols in my pocket. I will be playing one of them today so that it's flushed and nobody knows that I have another one. And I will not be telling a single soul about the second one. Our new tribe mates, we adore them. We do think that they are a force to be reckoned with. Have either of them approached you guys to talk to language? Which means they're either comfortable because they have a handle, or they just see no point. We do want to stay true to our original seven, but I want to have a lot of good conversations today to make sure that I am in a good place for when that merge happens. If I was in their position, I would start talking to everybody individually. I'm open to conversation. I'm open to hear everyone's pitch for themselves to stay. And it, neither one of them has really taken the initiative to have that conversation. I can see Zach working with us. Going into this next phase of the game, I think certainly Darren and probably Jen is going to play a key part in my advancement through the game. Darren and I kind of discussed keeping each other safe as this game progresses. I think with how physical both of are, we have to protect each other. Yes, we have. And I said that to you on this last night. Yeah. <laughs> it was a show. And everybody saw it. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I think like, the I second think that one of us goes, the other's going to go. I mean, Matt too. I think Matt's going to have a big target on his back. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if the three of us get back together, in reality, it's like, unless we stick together, then, the second, like I told you, the second one of us goes, we're all gone. Yeah. Well, it's like the care. three of us, Matt, Karen. I can get Karen. Yeah. I gotta get Zach at the point. Because I feel like he's the top I think we should make Zach feel like he's like, in charge. Give him like that like shrine. He thinks he does, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we think. have the power because he thinks he has the power. In the event that we have to go into tribal, we might have to make a big decision. Do we stay loyal to the OG tribe or do we take out a threat? I, I don't think I'm integrating that well. I don't think people are necessarily coming to me with information. Rather, they're trying to get information from me. Curious on like the Karen and Harris duo. He was so quick to snatch her. I, just... I get the vibe that like Rachel and Karen are dead. Karen. Herself. Like she's so. the nurturer of the tribe type of thing. Like she, like with her words, like she. I would say Rachel's the nurturer. Yeah, she's so sweet. I feel a little bit nervous. I mean, I do have the idol. If they want to, they can split the votes on us, and then I think realistically, I would just keep it for myself. The other possibility is if one of the former blues go go home today in the early morning tribal council. If they lose the challenge, I can try to pass the idol to them. But it's like really big and bulky, so I don't know how I would do that. If we win, I have to find a way to pass it over mm -hmm. to them. It's big. It's my problem. So it's like hard to hide. I want people to trust me. I think that's going to be the biggest part of my game moving forward. It's just making sure that even on a fluke tribal where I have the numbers, but an idol is played, it's still in my favor. The votes are still not going to go my way. Do you have a chance to talk to you? Because we kind of saw you with Jen. Yeah. We've just kind of been bothered. Okay. I don't think. Like I don't think either of you are going to drop any social strategy info. I want to dumb myself down a little bit, making them think I'm silly and that I don't know what I'm doing. Female seven, that's crazy. This is such an exciting point in the game. How we have to win this challenge? What's in your hat? Come hither. 
What number? What number? This is number seven. Ring a ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> that is the sound of the breakfast bell. Oh, no. oh, oh. I hope you are hungry. Oh, Your God. life in this game could depend on it. Oh. Fuck. Morning campers, Gibson, I've already spent some time with you. Pittman, how we do overnight? Great. Good, good, good. Beautiful right. sleeves. I gotta take this back? No. I can't do it. It's, yeah. not <laughs> <laughs> it's the arm. Once again, Unity is back up for grabs. Well, morning bell rang, so you're here for breakfast. One tribe each, two at a time. We're gonna sit down and eat mystery eggs this oh. morning. It's not a race, it's just to see if you can finish. And we're gonna do six rounds of this, then we will move on to a tiebreaker. And I don't think it's gonna be nice. All right, we got Matt and Megan. Which number are we going with, you two? Now let's go one. one. <laughs> These are pickled, don't, don't. radish pickled eggs. Ooh. You got that. Yeah. Survivor's ready? It's not a race, right? It's like, not a race. Hey, eat. Maggie, you got this. Steel resolve. It's Matt burger. just went full egg right in the mouth. He's going. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah. All right, Matt is. Matt's clear. Yep. Woo! Woo! Okay. Don't break it? rules. Yeah. Megan. Yeah, Megan. Good. What number? Four. Yeah. Let's see. Whoa! Whoa! Another pickled eggs in radish. Cheers. Cheers. Survivors ready? Like Eat. Come on, Zach. I like the pickle taste. I hate the texture, the yolk. <laughs> Isaiah with a gross tongue. Oh, <laughs> pearly white. All right, and there's another one. I'm gonna say not three. What? <laughs> if it's your lucky number. Three. <laughs> These are pickled in jalapeno. I oh. literally said I can't do spice. All the survivors eat. Yeah, Mind over matter. Yeah, Mind over matter. Yeah, Michelle's like, ooh. I'm not good with spice. Got a salty green. This doesn't He's... go down. Oh, 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 o
got it, Ash. Yeah. There you go. Take your time. Well, Ready don't, well, don't take your time, but. There you go. Looks like you Ashley's go. got one egg girl. fully finished at this point. She is on to her second. Save your shoelaces on time. <laughs> Ashley. Yes. Ashley. Oh, egg in. Oh, Let's go. Is they having a hard time keeping one of these down? Got Switching it. up flavors. He's gonna go with the jalapeno yeah, next. One more. One more. Oh, one's better. You go. Mm -hmm. you That's right. Savage. Let's go. Yeah. There you go, girl. Woo. Yeah. I love it. Can you lick that for me, the jalapeno, before we put it in? Oh yeah. my God. Ashley has all the contents off her plate. See her tongue. That's enough for me. Pittman yeah. wins yeah. immunity. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Great job, both tries. Well, I, I hope you just enjoyed your breakfast. But uh, yeah, it was good. Ashley says so. She's taking home the trophy right now for Pittman. So you guys are safe from the boat. No one's going home this round. Gibson, unfortunately, once again, I will be seeing you up that hill at Tribal Council. Take your stuff, get back to camp. I'll talk to you soon. Positioning seems pretty clear, especially after last tribal. We didn't have any flip-flop. I think it's looking like it's going to be Karen right now. It's the three of us against the two of them. Yep. Yeah, and so again. Many, do you think, they, you think she has an idol? I think she probably does. Do you think Karen does? Or? I don't know. Well, she they was didn't, searching. They didn't have one last time. That's true. They yeah, it and you know what, guys? Out, right? We have one. It feels straightforward at a 3-2, but there's always idols. this whole side and I'm just nervous it was in the grass or something. Yeah, I think it's really gonna come down to does Karen have an idol or not? Jen passed me an idol. I found a great ally in Jen and look what I have. <laughs> so, so I need them to vote for me. So I'm gonna be sad and defeated. At the end of the challenge, she kind of like side-eyed me to come over and we passed it behind our backs and I stuck it in my butt. I told Rachel she could vote for me if, if she feels it would benefit her. You know, say there's no idol, our two votes don't matter anyway. So it doesn't really matter who, who, who either of us votes for. But uh, we agreed that we would, the best move would be to get out Isaiah. I think Isaiah should go. And he's too much of a wild card. If I thought they were gonna vote for Rachel, I would play it for Rachel, but I genuinely believe they're gonna vote for me. I just don't see what they would vote for me. It's my challenge for fun. I know. My yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've gone that going for me. <laughs> it's an uphill battle from here, but at least I have a tool to help myself fight. <laughs> I'm not thus far sweating this one, but that's because I have no indication of, of who Karen might want to vote for. But I have a slight inclination that Rachel might be with us at this point. If all goes well, four votes for Karen and one for whoever Karen most wants gone, I suppose. Too many tribals. Too many tribals. We are like tribal Why experts. Me? Michelle has approached me and Matt have approached me about working with me. Michelle has said she really wants to work with you. Mm -hmm. I really want to work with you. I would love like a cross tribe thing. I like Michelle. I want to work with Michelle and, and with you. No, cool. But like, I have no idea how I'm going to be received yeah. over there. I don't know if we kept him in the boat. If we kept him in the boat. Isaiah, he's like, this is supposed to be fun. Are you being just like, be kind of unpredictable? Uh, okay. right off. Um, what if, what if? Um, so I'm like, yeah, maybe you could do Isaiah. A little late stage shakiness from Michelle. I lean towards going with the girls, than going with Isaiah. I, I just, I don't think I'll trust him. I mean, it's hard because I trust him a little, because he did. I feel like he's, I mean, he made, he brought me here. And then, that's but, yeah. true, he put the so idol on you and yeah. then didn't. And then, so that's, where, yeah. that's the only reason. I'm a little nervous now. It feels like people are waffling and this 3-2 is not as uh, straightforward as it once seemed. We're the middle. 
yeah. which is the position I think is best because then you're making the decisions. Right. But you're, yes. it's a hard line to play early in the first. Yes. So I just want to make sure if you're ready. But we also have to be like super tight. In the beginning, I wanted to be a hero, but I'm finding as this uh, goes on that I'm like, that's, that's just not how it's shaken out. Gibson, welcome back to Tribal Council. Yeah, I'm getting a big thumbs down from Matt in the back row. First question I gotta ask, why Isaiah, were you the person to represent the tribe in the tie-breaking round? It just seemed like Matt yeah. was flying through those eggs. And I was like, you know what, I think if I just like kind of wolf it down and try to do a big swallow, maybe we can get there. Uh, I'll, I'll speak up on this, JJ. I, see, my mentality going into the challenge was I'll eat anything, mm -hmm. but I'm not fast. Since the rock draws, do we feel like that created a crack between the two, or it seems like that would have strengthened your positions of original Pittman versus original Gibson on this tribe? Yes and no. I think it's obviously going to strengthen your original tribes when you're voting together, mm -hmm. but it's also we all knew it was gonna be a 3-3 vote. Mm -hmm. And so I think there's the respect there of it was a good vote. And I think we've built, we've built relationships, particularly the Rocks vote actually last time. I mean, that, I, I really respected that, right? I think that built up that mutual respect. You know, once the merge happens, you're always looking to rely on people to make moves and to make sure that you're in the majority. And I think it'll be great to have our relationships and that shared mutual respect as we go into that. Uh, journey. Well, let's see how that journey progresses. It is time to vote. Shell, you're first. Karen, mad respect. We're all worried about you after the merge. Hopefully after this, we're going to the merge. I'll go tally the votes. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. I would like to play this on myself. This is a real Hidden Immunity Idol, any votes cast against Karen will not count. I'll read the votes. I'd like to play mine too. This is also a real Hidden Immunity Idol. Any votes cast against Michelle will not count. I'll read the votes. Karen does not count. Isaiah. That's one Isaiah. Isaiah. That's two Isaiah. The sixth person voted out of Survivor, Northfield Farm. Isaiah. That's four. That's enough. Please bring me your torch. You Good, luck. Good luck. Good luck. Isaiah. The tribe has spoken. From the last two tribals, there have been three idols played. And two people have been, I think, surprisingly sent home. This has been a wild journey, and again, it's really only just begun. Please grab your torches, head back to camp. I will see you later. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Hey, you know what? I went down to what seems like a solid play, and I can only assume that going into the next phase, it's going to be old Gibson and new Gibson against old Pittman. And I am so excited to see how that works out. Well played, everybody. Next time on Survivor. The merge arrives, but with it, a twist none of the campers see coming. 
is tricky.